Hello YouTube friends. It's the most beautiful day, a lovely autumnal day and today I'm going to one of my favourite places to go at this time of year but I'm going to go and pick Anna up first because I'm going to take her with me. So come on, let's go. Come with me. I am, yes. This is lovely. <laughs> oh, I like your cosmos. Thank you. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> As we've been driving along the weather's just got nicer and nicer and nicer mm -hmm. and it's so sunny now and we've arrived at this wonderful place do you yeah. want to tell them where we are so we're at halls of Hedden, which is a garden center but it's more than that really isn't it it's a dahlia yeah. breeding center so it's, it's a chrysanthemum and dahlia specialist nursery yeah that's a better way of phrasing it <laughs> yeah but that's what it is yeah. and uh and so I th the show gardens that they have here that we're going to go and look at now it's so that people can decide which plants that they want to have next year mm. and um so they, they they plan it so that for the first few weeks in september every single flower is in flower and that's like the hundreds and hundreds of varieties so they have to they have to like um pinch them out at s specific times so that just to make sure they're all in flower at the same time so it's Is amazing right? yeah. yeah well without any further ado we're going to go and have a look round yeah looks and beautiful. i'm going to buy a big bunch to take home oh nice i've got lots in my garden so i'll probably just admire them i think okay let's go okay <laughs> Well, I really enjoyed that visit. I hope you enjoyed looking around the garden too. So I'm just going to get these lovely autumnal colour dahlias in this vase. And then the next job is one whose time has come. I've finished making the postage stamp curtains for my project in the porch. And so now, even though I've been kind of putting this off, because it means climbing up and down and using drills and doing all the things that I don't really like doing very much, but I am going to hang the curtains in the back porch. That's a project that's been going on for ages and it started with me clearing out all the stuff that was in there, which was just a load of, um, oh, you know, you know how things collect in houses. <laughs> Detritus. Lots of, I used to feed the cats there and so there was a lot of cat stuff there. And so all of that's gone now. Um, I got the wall painted, plastered first of all, and painted. I painted it pink. And then I got someone to lay some vinyl, which is beautiful herring, uh, not herringbone, 
uh, hexagon, beautiful hexagon vinyl. And the last thing that needed to happen after I'd made the grey cupboard that I got from Ikea is uh, the curtains going up. So that's going to happen now. I, I did have um, a green pole, but I didn't have enough poles. So I bought a new piece of pole and painted it pink. Now, while I've been talking to you and arranging these flowers, there's a little memory of Halls of Heaven right there. I love it. So it can't be put off any longer. Let's go and uh, hang the curtains. <laughs> Cat Rita says, so long as there's still somewhere to feed me. <laughs> Don't worry, Rita. I've got plenty of places to, to feed you and Sadie. You're all right. OK, curtains next. <laughs> brackets done and now let's hang the poles and the curtains um, pink pole okay yeah pink pole long pole curtains and so I'm gonna need to lie down after this so the curtains are gonna go on here Now, the other curtain, half of it, has got to go on here as well. And when, when I put this up, I'll put that ring on the other side of the bracket. So it'll stay put. Okay, the moment of truth. Is this going to fit? That goes from there. That goes on there like a dream and then those push back and get screwed in which I can't actually get in to screw them so they're just going to stay like that and that's the small curtain like so and so the last bit then is these hooks go on here Up I go again. So this project that I've been working on for such a long time is finished now. I put my plants back. I like the spinning wheel there. It doesn't take up any room there. And whenever I want to use it, it's right there. Little Agnes's boots are here for when she comes to visit. I like those. Pink like the walls. And this project has been a long, long time in the planning and in the making. And I'm really pleased. I, 
it's such a transformation from what it used to be. So I'm very pleased. I'm going to put some more books on the shelves so that, um, come on in Sadie. Hello, do you like my new porch? <laughs> yeah, I'm chuffed to bits. I might just put a chair in here and come and sit down and read a book. Or I might actually have a nap because all that up and down the ladder there and screwing those things in has really knocked, knocked me for six. Well, it's much, much later now. Uh, I had a lovely nap. I have a little daytime nap, if you're interested, <laughs> on this little uh, bed here that's just beside the porch. So sometimes I'll have 40 winks there. But now I want to talk to you about something that's happening in next week's video. So I'm going to give you a bit of a heads up about that. If you've been um, a Last Homely House fan right from the beginning, you may know that this month, September, is um, the fifth birthday of the Last Homely House. I've been making videos almost on a weekly basis, most hopefully every week for, for, for five years. And so I've had the lime green sofa professionally cleaned and I'm going to invite all of you to the fifth birthday next week. Now, I'm going to do a fairly spectacular giveaway for the fifth birthday, so that's a video you won't want to miss. You definitely want to put your notifications on for that. But if you remember back to the very first video, I was sitting outside in the area I call my pavilion, spinning. And I would very much like to do some spinning next week. So to that end, I've got my drum carder out. It's ages since this was out. I haven't done any carding uh, or spinning or anything to do with fibre for ages. I did make Agnes, my granddaughter, a little pink cardigan, but she's grown out of that now. So I've got here, I've got all the bits and pieces I need and I'm going to card some blue fibre. I've got some fantastic blues here, uh, every colour under the sun. And so I'm going to make some uh, Rolex on this drum carder here and um, ready for spinning next week. Now, I have done this before on the channel a long time ago, and so there's a whole um, playlist of the spinning videos that I made, and um, I'll maybe I'll either leave that on the end card or we'll put that in the description below so that you can see what it is I'm doing. So, uh, so that instead of giving you a big explanation here. But uh, what I want to do then is, um, is just introduce the fiber onto the drum and I'm going to blend a lot of these lovely, lovely, lovely blues together. Uh, some lovely pale, dark, mid, all sorts. And I think that's, I'll just keep to blues and uh, we'll make Agnes, maybe I'll make Agnes something very blue. Or maybe I'll make something for me if I spin enough wool. I'm so pleased to be back to spinning. I really enjoy doing it. It's the most relaxing thing. And um, so next week then, you'll, um, well, you'll see what we have in store for you next week for the birthday party. So best best uh, dresses on, all of you. And uh, I'll be some very, very, very nice snacks next week. And maybe some champagne. What about that? Balloons? Who knows? Agnes loves balloons. It's going to be Agnes's birthday in October and she's going to be three. So she properly knows about birthdays. And so um, we maybe uh, have a few balloons in Agnes's uh, honour. Yeah, blue. But I am going to do a giveaway. And I think you'll enjoy it. A fifth birthday giveaway.
Well, I'm going to carry on making these. These are called Rolex and I'm going to have a big basket of these ready for next week. And this is the one time that you really want to subscribe and put your notifications on because you don't want to miss next week's video. I think we're going to have a lovely birthday party. So subscribe, give us a thumbs up. When you give a thumbs up, what, what YouTube does is it pushes it out to more people. So people who might not know about The Last Homey House get to see what we're doing here. And that'll be lovely. So I will see you next week for my fifth birthday party.